two or three problems off the 1985 AB section one. First one is just a simple integral, no calculator. If we add one, so if I think it becomes x negative two over negative two evaluated from one to two. So the way I would do this, I suppose on my scrap paper, I would write this from the one to two. I would probably factor out the negative personally. One over eight minus one over one, negative seven eighths times negative. Oh, kind of, oh, one half. What am I doing? I gotta be careful here. Minus one half, right? So that's negative three eighths times a negative. That should be a positive three eighths. So it's got to be letter D. All right. Find the fourth derivative. So f of x equals the binomial the fourth, and the fourth derivative of f of x at zero is. So they want f4 of 0. Do you guys agree? And you get 4, 2x plus 1 times 2, right, to the third. That's the first. The second is 4 times 3, 2x plus 1 to the second, 2 times 2. And you know that's what I'm doing. I'm not doing any math at this point. I'm doing the chain rule. f prime prime is 4 times 3 times 2 times 2x plus 1 to the 1, 2 times 2 times 2. F to the 4, 4 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. So it doesn't matter that it's 0. It comes up there's no x in it. 12, 24, 48, 96, 192, it's going to have to, when I look at this, I don't have to really know the math. It has to be easy okay. for problem number two. And yeah, just taking the fourth derivative, using the chain rule, a really simple problem. One that my argument is, is that we have to get right. We have to get these two right. Find the derivative of y dy dx. All right, immediately I think to myself, I look at this, and I look at the answer before I start doing the derivative, and you know something, it shows the bottom squared. So I think of the quotient rule, you guys agree? And immediately then I'm pitching away E. There's no way E is the answer. Do we agree? So I'll make it F G. F prime is zero, so zero times G doesn't matter, minus three times the derivative of the bottom, which is two X. And I'm gonna stop right there. Because when I write that out, zero G just goes to zero, right? I don't have to write the bottom up. I have to get a negative six X. There's only one of these that match. Do we agree? Okay. And this is the skill we got to keep working on. And I'm going to have a pack of the stuff moving forward. These are the skills. We get the answers to help us decide how to handle the problem. 